Uh, hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I would like to do today, guys, is show you how to create this body stretch effect within Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, a very, very impressive effect that you can apply uh, within Adobe Photoshop. And this is used across many forms of advertising, uh, branding, many forms of graphic design. And what I'd like to do today is show you the simple step-by-step -step process you need to follow to create such an effect. Okay, so what I'll do is come to my layers now and remove this top layer and start off with the, with the original image. Okay, so what I need to do is make a selection using my marquee tool. So I'm gonna start with our hand here. I'm gonna make a little selection like so there. And then I'm gonna use the shortcut Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows to duplicate that layer, but it would only duplicate what's inside of that selection. Now, if I press Command T or Control T on Windows and Command T on Mac, I'm now gonna stretch this, just using my, uh, the option on the right-hand side, left-hand side there, just to drag it in like so. Press Enter. And then what we're gonna do is let's press Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows again. And then we have this little option up here. OK, and what this does is switches between free transform and warp, uh, warp modes. So now I'm going to come through and I'm going to take that at anchor point up there a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to distort these and just move these around. You can see we have these little handles here that we can manipulate as well. OK, let's say I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Now. I need to make this a little bit softer on the hand. So I'm just going to apply a layer mask to our stretch. And let's say we use our brush, make sure that we're using the foreground color of black. And I'm just going to come through and just very lightly blend that in to the hand here. Just so it looks a little bit more realistic. There we go. Okay. And then what we can do is try and create a nice sort of like uh, shadow effect for the spin or the turn of the of the stretch there. So what I'm going to do is zoom in like so. And let's start with my pen tool here. And I'm just going to use my pen tool and I'm just going to create a little line for me there. There we go. Just to cover that space. Wonderful. And now what I'm going to do is just quickly manipulate these anchor points just so it makes it makes them a little bit better using my direct selection tool to do this, by the way. I'm going to move that up there like so. Wonderful. Now, if we right click on this, I have the option to make it into a selection. Uh, I don't want to put any feather radius on that at all. I'm just going to press OK. Wonderful. I'm just going to remove that layer now and add a new one. Still got my selection in place. Going to use my brush tool. Going to use the color black and probably come around here and just sort of make a little thing like so. Wonderful. And let's deselect the shortcuts. Do that is Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. I'm just going to bring the opacity down on that a little bit, just make it a little bit softer. Now, just notice as I was zooming in, I need to improve this hand here, right? But that's the beauty of layer masking. We can go back and edit and change and whatever. So, we need to go back to our brush. Let's decrease the size of it. Make sure the color is black again. And we're just going to make sure that this is coming through a little bit nicer there. And then we're going to use white and just bring it back a little bit there just to make it nicer. Yeah, again, let's go to black here. Probably move a little bit in there. Let's say, there we go. And maybe a little bit bring that back there. Okay. Going to press Command Zero there, guys, or Control Zero on Windows to uh, go back to the original view mode. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create that body stretch effect within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, guys, there are videos and recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis, so please make sure you take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.